Guys, what a way to end the series. How does it feel for each of you to have brought up your first one day international centuries? Uh, yeah, it was pretty fun out there. We um, we love batting together. Um, we did it in Leicester in the three day game and um, had lots of fun. So it was nice to uh, yeah get up the other end and watch this one do her thing. It was pretty cool. How about for you, Phoebs? Yeah, it was just awesome to sort of put some time in the middle with Belzy. Um, you know, it's we wanted to sort of have a really positive finish to the series and I think, um, yeah, we were able to do that and it was a pleasure to watch Belzy as well. How did you work through things, you know, mentally out there in some tricky conditions and against some unfamiliar bowling? Yeah, it was tough at times. I think we, um, yeah, had to speak to each other a little bit between, um, between overs and during overs just when things got uh, a little bit frustrating, um, but it was just about letting the ball come to you, playing it late. Um, it was a pretty slow wicket, obviously second game on the same wicket, so tried to play as straight and late as we could. Didn't always do that, but um, for the most part we did, which was nice. Yeah. Phoebes, how'd you handle being in the 90s? Um, well, if you guys were watching, uh, probably not that well, but um, yeah, I think I probably, you know, reflecting on it, probably could have just taken a bit more easy. Easily, sorry. Um, but, yeah, we live, live and learn and happy just to bring up those three figures, to be honest. And, Annabelle, when did you find out that you were going to be opening today? Uh, a couple of days ago. Shell let me know. So, um, yeah, it was, was pretty pumped. I was, um, yeah, always going to put my hand up and, and jump at the opportunity. So, um, yeah, absolutely loved it. And any time you could spend some time out there is, um, yeah, it's pretty good fun. Yeah, and you two had already batted together in the, the warm-up match in Leicester. And spending that time together helped today when you're out there? Yeah, definitely. I think I love batting with Belle. She sort of, we know each other's games pretty well and can see, uh, well, she can definitely see when I'm getting frustrated and I think I'm, I'm learning how to read her. So I think we complement each other well and the left and right handers as well. Um, we got a few loose balls and I sort of was thanking Belzy because I was like, oh, that's because of you. So, um, yeah, I think it was, it was a good match and... Um, she definitely keeps me level out there. Nice one. And um, Belzy, you've had to bide your time down the order a bit this tour, so it must have been really nice to, to get that chance at the top. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, I've always said that we've got a um, pretty stacked top order, so um, yeah, opportunities are few and far between, but when they when they come, I um, yeah, we'll put my hand up. Making and the most of it. To be try fair. and yeah. do a job for the team um, when I can. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy watching the girls do their thing. At, and, and batting down at seven, but when the, the opportunity comes, well and truly happy to yeah make a contribution if it comes. And another three wickets for Ash Gardner today. How immense has she been with the ball on this whole tour? Oh, clinical. So she's just been so reliable. I think you always can count on a really good ten overs at a low economy rate with some few wickets from her. So um, yeah, it's it's a lot of confidence that we have in her to just sort of take the ball and lead from the front. So she did a really good job. And Phoebe, it was announced today that you're off to the 100 now. Is that a, a late call up for you? Yeah, very late. Um, unfortunately, um, with Midgey's, I don't know if that's, yeah. is that okay? <laughs> with Midgey's injury, sorry, I thought I just, um, with Midgey's. <laughs> it's all good, it's out there. <laughs> I'll just start that again. Um, yeah, unfortunately with Midgey's injury, I've um, got a chance, but um, yeah, really excited to, so, to, to go over there and, and learn some more about cricket. Did you have to cancel a few holiday plans at the last minute? I did, yeah. We've cancelled south of France and Italy, but, you know, the hundred's pretty good too. Yeah, fair enough. And is it home for you now, Belzy? Uh, yeah, via a bit of Europe as well. Um, cash in while I'm, while I'm over here and then um, get stuck into the, the last bit of pre-season before the summer starts. We've got a big summer ahead, so, um, yeah, we'll rest and, and put the feet up and then get back into things when, when we get home. And you guys both had your families over here during the Ashes. Would they have been watching up in the middle of the night back in Australia, do you reckon? I'm not Ooh. sure. Um, Mum's been pretty tired, to be fair, watching some of the, the ODIs in the Ashes, so um, we'll see. It's but a lot of cricket that they've it is. been yeah. put through, so yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> check out watch our the highlights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and when you're out in the 90s there together, is the chat, is it all business, or what are you chatting about? How are you trying to keep each other calm? <laughs> We're trying to keep it business. I well, was trying to keep no, it business. No, you business. Belzy was like, we've got 20 runs to win the game, Phoebes. Like, and I was like, okay, but like you've got two runs to get 100. And like, yeah, there was a bit of sort of, yeah, anyway. Anyway, that was a bit of frantic um, Phoebe's eyes were glued on the scoreboard. Oh, please. Anyway. <laughs> From 95 to... <laughs> <laughs> Did you talk about how you're going to celebrate? No. Or think no, about no. it? No. Because that, that gets you out at 94 or 95, so, um, yeah. Just let it happen. Let it happen, I think. How yeah. do you rate each other's celebrations? Oh, well, I nearly chopped on, and that's how I brought it up, so I was very subdued. 
Thieves? Did Thieves I? whacked one down the ground, so yeah. you could have... But you, you were quite like, yeah. <laughs> your your face reacted. was like... I was happy for you. I oh, think I celebrated more for you. Though. I did too. Great. So, and Thieves, that was a really bad answer. No, it's a great answer. <laughs> Thieves, we've heard a, um, a little bit about your fielding reviews. How did that come about? Is that um, a new job for you? Yeah, I've sort of just had it... Um, I think I had it first... First ODI... No. First T20 or, or the test match or something. And, and did one. And it was very boring and just about fielding and I think I cracked a joke at the end of it and then I was like oh that got, got a few laughs and so the next one um, I just added a few more jokes in it and they laugh like they liked it so um, it's sort of now become a thing and Wolf, it, Wolfie, said it's, jokes. Wolfie said it's turned into a bit of a roast no no it's not a roast it's not a roast oh it's a no it's compliments in yeah. a funny way but if someone does something silly, I do roast them. Yeah. You finish most sentences with boom, roasted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> no, nah, they're good. They're the highlight of our um, team meetings. So. Yeah, it's good. Nice. Good way to wrap up the tour. 200s? Yeah. yeah. Happy with that? Yeah, yeah I think fun. so. Pretty happy.